Yeah. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Now watch this. Listen to this. This is how we're taught. In fact, this is how the whole education system is. Go to school, mm -hmm. get an education, go to college to get a job. Yeah, yeah. Work all our life, okay? Pay taxes. Pay taxes, <laughs> work all our life, get to 65, yeah. and can't retire. Wow. You know why? Because we don't have enough to make it. Wow. You see, why doesn't the education system teach us mm -hmm. this? Go to school, get an education, learn about money, mm -hmm. start a business, yeah. create a business. Mm -hmm. Be business minded. Be business minded mm -hmm. and then create jobs. Right. Why is it that we got to be brought up thinking somebody to give us a job? Wow. Hold on, lose that thought. <laughs> You're on the air with Faith Brooks. Faith Family values and politics? Yes, how y'all doing this evening? Fine, how you doing? Oh, fine. Your question? Uh, uh, well, it was a guy that called right before the last one, the previous caller. Yes. And I just wanted to tell him that it's a book that he, he could find that answer, and it's called The Lost Books of the Bible mm -hmm. and the Forgotten Books of Eden. And if he, mm -hmm. he will find uh, the answer to the, about those bricks in that book. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. and, and another thing, what y'all were talking about also, um, you, I think that it's a part in the Bible about the, the, the poor shall inherit the earth. A lot of people have, have, you know, gotten that a little wrong, you know. And that's, that's, that could be also um, in the back of people's minds also while we're in the situation that we're in. Okay, thank you. And thank Wait. you. Okay, thank you. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I, think people, I think it's go back to what you said. Right. They were taught to go to school. Go to college. We talk. Get out. Yeah. Right. <laughs> go, and get a job and work all your life. Right. And retire, you have l little or nothing. Right. Rather than having a mindset like this. We talked about the Jews earlier. Right. Where we can rise above and have ownership. That's right. I mean. Be a business owner. Exactly. And provide people with jobs. Exactly. See. And own right. real estate. Right. Have own homes and houses and stuff Rather like that. than us work for a job or on a job, mm -hmm. we create, we work yeah. to create businesses. And then let the businesses work for us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Or create jobs for people. Yeah. You see, mm -hmm. that's how we need to be taught. That's how the Jews are taught. And that's why the Jews mm -hmm. own yeah. most of the businesses. And there's only 1% of the world's population that are Jewish. Wow, wow. See? Can, can I give you this? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Let, let me just give you this little story. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know the principle that says, if a man doesn't work, mm -hmm. they shouldn't eat. That's what it says. Okay, isn't that right? right? Yeah. Well, I noticed when God first created humanity mm -hmm. in the Garden of Eden, the first thing he did was he blessed them. Okay. As it says it in right. Genesis. Mm -hmm. Second thing he did was he spoke to them and said, be fruitful and multiply. Mm -hmm. Multiply, that word mm -hmm. is a word that didn't come from humanity. It first came from God. Okay. Okay. Right. And then this is what I noticed. I noticed that what that man needed to live mm -hmm. was food. Yeah. But God didn't give him any food. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Right. This is what it says he gave him. Herb bearing seed. Mm, mm. What the man needed was food, <laughs> but he didn't give him any food. Yeah. He gave him seed. Mm. Now, watch this. The Lord, I you believe the Lord spoke to me out of this scripture. And he says, I couldn't give him any food. Because if I would have gave him some food, I would have been in violation to my own principle. What principle? If a person doesn't work, oh, come on. he shouldn't eat. Yeah. So God said, in fact, you look in the scriptures, you'll see it. Read the, in, in the book of Genesis, you'll see where it says, and then after he gave the man seed, mm -hmm. it said he put the man in the garden. garden. Because God had planted the garden, but he lacked two things. Mm -hmm. He lacked a man to till the ground, mm -hmm. and there was no water at the time. So what he did was he caused the mist to come up from mm -hmm. the earth mm -hmm. that watered it, right. for man's body from the dust of the earth. And then the first thing that God did after he spoke to him, you know, blessed him, mm -hmm. He put him in the garden to do what? Go to work. Go to work. There's a scripture in the New Testament that says, if a man doesn't work, he shouldn't eat. That's what I just said. Now watch this. What? That's, watch this. He was working for God because mm -hmm. it was God's garden. Mm -hmm. But guess how he's working for God? Mm -hmm. He was working for himself. Oh. See, he, he was working for himself to grow his own food. Mm -hmm. See, because see, the whole principle, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for how long? A day. A day. But if you can teach the man how to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. Mm. You see, so what I saw was that God wanted to create a creature mm -hmm. like himself. Come on, yeah. See, if God needs something, 
Because he's the creator, mm-hmm. this is what he does. Mm-hmm. He go get it. <laughs> he just go get it. Yeah. See, mm-hmm. God is not dependent mm-hmm. upon anybody Come on. Yeah. giving him anything. Mm-hmm. So God wanted to create a creature in his own image after his own likeness. What's that? Independent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not dependent. <laughs> You're on the with good. me. That's good. Yeah. You see, so I'm just telling you, yeah. the black American, mm-hmm. unlike any other race of people, mm-hmm. we're dependent, bro. That's right. We're dependent. I need somebody <laughs> to give me a job. Are you with yeah, me? Yeah, come on. When what we need to do is we need to have a change of our mind. Yeah, have your mind be renewed. God's given us the ability to go get it. That's right. Yeah. We can do it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. See, I get kind of worked up. Uh, I, I, I get do, worked bro. up, man. I tell you, I, I get worked up. But yeah. see, see, let me tell you something. I even have to tell you this. Mm-hmm. See, when you're totally dependent mm-hmm. upon somebody as it pertains to your provision, yeah. that's called welfare. See, Are you with me? I'm here. Yeah. You see? Yeah. And, and basically, God wants us to be in abundance so we can be a supply to those who are in life. And the thing about it is God didn't treat us Create us, like you said, to be on welfare. That's no. not God's, no. that's not even God's, we're not t- that's not even getting to the best. That's not even to the least on the less, least level, you know. Um, so he didn't create us to, to be so down low that we'd have to depend on somebody giving somebody us Somebody giving us the government always supplying our need when he says God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. According to his riches and glory. glory, glory Jesus. Uh, you, you're absolutely yeah. right. That's right. That's right. Mm. You see that? Yeah, you see, yeah. see, God's given us the ability. We, 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 we just need to have the revelation that we don't need anybody to give us anything as it pertains to our provision. Yeah. In fact, can I tell you this quickly, okay, everybody? Well. I looked up, and I believe the Lord told me. He mm-hmm. said, look up the word beg okay. in the dictionary. Mm-hmm. So that's what I did. I looked up the word beg. Mm-hmm. You know what the definition was? No. To ask. Mm-hmm. And then he took me over to the scripture where it says, neither have I seen the righteous forsaken, neither their seed begging <laughs> for bread. Right, right. Well, you put the word ask in there because mm-hmm. that's what it means. Asking for bread. So actually, God never intended for his children mm-hmm. to have to ask anybody, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. would you provide for me? Wow. Why? Because he's the Lord, mm-hmm, our provider. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He provides for us and he provides for us. Watch this. Mm-hmm. By us providing for ourselves. Wow. And there's a scripture. I'm going to take this call. The scripture also says that. Mm-hmm. that um, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or a seed begging bread. That's right. It means asking for yeah, bread. Yeah, yeah. So You're on the air. Yeah, good evening. Yes, sir. I, I was the guy that called initially. Are you the brick, are you what, the brick man? Yeah, I'm the brick man. Okay, brick man. <laughs> okay, brick man. What you got but, for me this time? But, you know, I see that question stirred up something there. No, okay. And, um, no, we, we, we've stirred up everybody. Everybody, <laughs> everybody gave their answer, but I'm the one that asked the question. Okay. So let me tell them uh, what the question is. <laughs> the question is, why is it written there that it's mud and straw? And I want to ask you, would mud and straw still be standing 5,000 years later? Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, I, I really don't think it's about mud and straw. <laughs> No, honestly, it's not about mud and straw. It says it's about God supplying your need because I would leave what's in Egypt in Egypt <laughs> because, that, like we talked about earlier, what about the right here and now where people are struggling today and, 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 and changing the mindset of people who've been thinking a certain way for so long, and now you're talking about changing the mindsets of people today where they can think in a different way so where they can be possessors rather than... Uh, always looking for somebody to give them something. Yeah, see, yeah. That, in fact, Gilbert, listen to this. The word work, okay. you can look it up in the dictionary, does not mean job. Oh, really? No. Okay. No. It means, you know, when I say job, right. I'm talking about, because right. see, actually, the word job, mm-hmm. in our mindset, means place of employment. Okay. Uh-huh. When job doesn't mean necessarily place of employment. Okay. What job means is work. Okay. <laughs> Activity. Mm, right. Effort. Mm-hmm. Task. You see what I'm saying? Right. But see, in our mindset, you know, you can ask people, you know, you, you, you say, well, uh, 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 I need a job or I need 
to, to work means I need somebody to give me a job. Mm. When actually, the word doesn't mean that. <laughs> See? Okay. We're supposed to work, which means generate and do something to generate our wow. own income. Oh, gosh, that's good. It yeah. doesn't mean I need somebody to give me a job mm -hmm. or I need a place of employment. Wow. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can look up that word in the dictionary. Mm -hmm. But see, right. that's how we think because that's how the slave owners taught us. Yeah, that's right. That's see, right. the slave owners taught the slave owners, again, let me mm -hmm. quote it again, mm -hmm. teach the Negro mm -hmm. how to work, yeah. but mm -hmm. never let him learn. How to take care of himself, keep him dependent upon us for a job, and we don't have to be concerned about him leaving. We're going to a commercial here shortly, but Frederick Douglass got that when 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 he learned how to read, he shared that that not to teach him how to read, but that, that what liberated him when he got an education and learned how to be self-sufficient of his own. There you he go. He pulled out from everybody else. All right. Got one more call coming in. We're going to a commercial. Well, that call's going on, but we're going to go to a commercial right now and um, come back. Here shortly and I'll jump right back where we started from. I'm with Dr. Steve Parson right now and we're discussing some phenomenal things on the air and uh, have your friends call and we'll be right back with uh, Dr. Steve.